Leading off our discussion tonight are Dr. Lippy Roy, an internal medicine physician and an NBC News and MSNBC medical contributor. Also with us is Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett of Texas. He is chairman of the Health Subcommittee of the House Ways and Means Committee. Uh, and doctor, we normally go by seniority of political office, but I'm sure Congressman Doggett will allow us to go to the physician first because you have seniority of knowledge among us here. Uh, in the in the coronavirus uh, task force briefing that we had today, uh, what what did you hear? What did you want to hear? What should we have heard? Lawrence, do you remember the White House briefings that we had months ago when Dr. Fauci would take the podium and share his evidence-based recommend, health recommendations to the public, and then not even a moment later, the president would come on and, and contradict what Dr. Fauci had just said? Well, we saw the exact same thing happen today, where the vice president did the same thing. And at those moments, Lawrence, I wonder if Dr. Fauci is standing there and channeling Sir Thomas More in the currents and eddies of right and wrong, which you find such plain sailing I can't navigate our the, the inaction of our elected officials right now is morally and medically reprehensible we need action we have we need a concrete plan in terms of what to do moving forward federal agencies such as the CDC and NIH their job is to do research analyze data which has been coming in real time and and and, and share that with elected officials it is their responsibility, though, then to enact and execute. When, uh, when Dr. Fauci was leaving the stage and reporters were yelling to him, uh, are the rallies okay? Uh, Dr. Roy, if, if, that, if, if, that, if you were there, if that was your job, would you have turned to those reporters and answered that question? Absolutely. In fact, wasn't the first question by a reporter, uh, are, are, what about the rallies, given what Dr. Fauci and the people have told, uh, just told you, are the rallies still okay? Are, are you going to move forward? Indoor rallies where thousands of people will come together, ma masks aren't being mandated, physical distancing is not being mandated. It's all bad, it's all dangerous, and it all goes against the data that we have to keep people safe and healthy, Lawrence. Carson Doggett, uh, very sorry to be reporting uh, that the coronavirus is raging as strongly as it is in your state of Texas. Uh, what do you think the state has to do now? Well, first, Lawrence, I think as usual, you have the right priority. It should be doctors first. Uh, it should be medical science first. If we listen to the doctors instead of the politicians that keep doctoring the truth, we would be in a much better position today. Uh, our problem in Texas is the same one that we have everywhere with a total lack of national leadership. But we've had a governor in Greg Abbott who's attached himself firmly to Donald Trump uh, on everything, I think, except uh, injecting Lysol. Uh, and, and this week, he finally kind of began to see what was happening here. Uh, I would add, really, in terms of what we need to do in Texas, that since we have a void of state leadership and a void of national leadership, at least unshackle the local officials like Mayor Adler, Mayor Ron Nirenberg of San Antonio, who've been trying to do the right thing, but they will, the governor will not even permit them to require masks uh, to uh, limit activity at construction sites. He has severely restricted local officials from being able to protect our health, and as a result, Texas cities are tonight very dangerous places. Uh, Dr. Roy, uh, the governor of Texas uh, said tonight that if he could do, if he could go back and redo anything, it would probably be to slow down the opening of bars. Uh, he now regrets and is publicly saying that he regrets opening up bars, and bars seem to be uh, one of the hot spots in the places where they've opened up. Yeah, and by the way, my, my heartfelt uh, just feelings towards uh, Representative Doggett in the state of Texas, given the hellish period that we went through here in New York, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. But yeah, the, the bars, restaurants, indoor dining, uh, that's where we see, saw actually a lot of the young people go to. And surprise, surprise, we're seeing the rise in cases amongst our young people. But they're not the ones that are getting severely ill and dying. They're infecting older people. 
people who are then getting sick and dying. Uh, it's a it's a real problem. But I agree. I mean, what do we do here in New York State? Our local officials, uh, mayors and governors, shut things down. It was painful. But now look at our cases. It's we've come down really nicely because these social public health measures work, Lawrence. Carson Doggett, uh, you, you're, you're running up to uh, uh, ICU bed capacity in Houston at this point. Uh, one of the things that strikes me about this is that, that Dallas is one of the great medical centers of this country with some of the finest work that has been done uh, over the years. And, and it's, it's kind of surprising from the outside uh, that the medical community, the very sophisticated medical community of Texas, seems to have had no effect on your governor. Well, the governor claimed he had uh, medical backing for what he was doing, and then he opened the state when he couldn't match three of the four key indicators for opening. Uh, I, uh, I think in terms of action that we need now, so much of it is testing. Uh, we could have learned from New York and from Italy, but we did not learn, unfortunately. We followed the Trump-Pence path to nowhere, the path that has led us to have more infections and more deaths, amazingly than any country in the entire world. But in Texas, I think about the report I got about this morning in Austin, that there were people lined up trying to get tests at community health centers at 3.30 in the morning, and by 6.30, they'd run out of testing. That's the, the, the lack of any national or state leadership to get those tests available so people will know and to recognize that until we get a handle on this epidemic, we will never get back to sustained economic growth. So it's all very tied together. Congressman Lloyd Doggett, I'm very sorry about the situation in your estate tonight. We appreciate you being here. Dr. Lippy Roy, thank you very much for your expertise on this.